This is our 1995 Jaguar XJS V8 convertible. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there'll be a very slow paced walk around to the car. Following that, there'll be a second walk around where I'll show close ups of all the cosmetic blemishes. And then there'll be some video clips of uh, the interior. So this is a one owner car. Uh, we purchased it from the original owner, this woman in Downers Grove, Illinois. Uh, car will come with a tremendous amount of documentation, uh, so check out the listing for a summary of service records. But the car was sold new at Imperial, uh, Imperial Motors of Wilmette, Illinois, uh, and was always taken back there for services. So it's kind of cool, it's always been serviced by the same selling dealer. The car has 95,900 miles on it, and it presents as a car with lower miles. It's really, really, really nice. Always garage kept. Uh, the alloy wheels were refinished uh, about six or seven thousand miles ago. Car has been routinely exercised. The clean one owner auto check Carfax report uh, indicates pretty consistent mileage throughout the years. The Topaz metallic paint, very, very nice. Uh, Resprayed once in 2011. Uh, polished surfaces are all very, very nice. Uh, Mirror-like, no oxidation or damage. The dark, dark brown convertible top is powered and functions as it should. No damage, no punctures, nothing like that. The glass and light lenses are all clear and crack-free. Uh, lights and signals are all functional. The Yokohama tires are a little older than they should be. They're not dry rot at all or anything like that, but the uh, there's a receipt in the folder for the car that we've got that has a Yokohama 2004 receipt. So I have to imagine they're the same tires. Slightly outdated, uh, but in good shape. Body's really, really, really nice and straight. There's one tiny little ding at the bottom of the driver door, but it's, uh, it's, it's even tough to see. Car's an excellent driver. Nice and quiet, good amount of power, excellent ride quality. Really well sorted car, uh, wouldn't hesitate to fly in and drive home. Now these are close ups of all the blemishes on the car. You can see that lower little black plastic front spoiler on the passenger side is kind of peeling away. Some little chips, there are two light scratches, you can see one there on top of the driver front fender. Second one there. Uh, we have not buffed the car, and honestly, those are so light that I think if somebody did, you know, buff and wax the thing, they'd come right out. The driver's side rocker has a fair amount of chips, um, little scuffs, you know, nothing really damaging the paint, just, just general road wear. Whereas the passenger side is much cleaner. Come around to the rear, little scratch around that tail light. Again, very minor. And then just a look at the uh, rocker on the passenger side as opposed to the driver. Super nice and clean. You can tell, I mean, the panel gaps are spot on. There's no bubbling at all. Doors open and close nice and smooth. Weather stripping is all really, really nice. You know, not dry or cracked at all. You can see just a little chip there. Passenger front fender on the wheel well. Now onto the interior. Uh, cream leather, really, really nice shape. Carpeting is a little bit tired, I guess. Pretty good overall. I mean, the, these beige tan interiors can only wear so well, uh, but it looks really good. Uh, dash top has no cracks or warping or other damage. Uh, the power windows, power seat functions are all good. Uh, all the gauges are good. The analog clock was actually replaced and it's still functional. Uh, the radio is functional. Uh, this wood finish all looks really, really good. A couple little hairline cracks towards the back, but uh, the finish itself looks really nice. Gauges are all functional. Uh, heat and fan are functional. Air conditioning was converted to 134. Compressor kicks on but does not blow cold. Uh, we can charge it, I just can't guarantee it'll hold a charge. So while dash looks really nice, seats are much of the same. 
slight bits of wear on the driver outer bolster, you know, one little scuff, but the rest of the seats are actually quite good. Nice and firm, not all, you know, soft and blown out at all. Very, very nice. You can see driver just shows a little bit more wear than the rest, as to be expected. Handbrake is functional. And there's just a closer look at the carpets. Sills are nice and clean and polished. Overall, a uh, very, very nice example. You can see that little grease stain in the center of the uh, rear carpet. A bit unfortunate. Aside from that, the rear is very nice. Original boot cover's in nice shape, no damage.